Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed. and we're here at the Macabre Film Festival and I'm here with one of the beautiful judges and she's going to introduce herself to the camera. Hi, my name is Shay Cully. Um, thank you for having me here. <laughs> now, I understand that you are one of the uh, few female judges that will be making decisions here at the Macabre Film Festival. How did that happen? Um, I'm very close with Elsie. Um, she's like a sister to me and I've always kind of been on this journey with her. And one day she said, hey, you know, you've been involved this long. Do you want to join in on the fun? And I said, sure, absolutely. Terrific. So how exciting for you to be judging. Yes, very exciting. It's, you know, it's a privilege, really, because you get to see all these talented people, and it's really amazing. Tell my audience, if you want to find out more information about Macabre Film Festival, where can we go? You can check out Twitch Twitch Productions and Macabre Fair Film Festival. Um, they have a website, and you can also find them on Facebook. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. and I'm here with another judge. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, uh, my name is Todd Starooch, otherwise known as the Horror Nerd. The Horror Nerd, I love That's it. Right. Now, is, the fir is this the first time that you are judging at the Macaw Film Festival? This is actually my second time as a judge. I'm happy to do it. Tell my audience what you think about the Macaw Film Festival. What I love about Macabre Fair is the intimacy of the event. There are a ton of huge horror conventions where you can wait online all day long for celebrity autographs. Here it's all about the films, meeting the filmmakers and getting to see the amazing work that they do. 
terrific. Well, thank you, darling. And I anticipate a fabulous evening. It's going to be fantastic. Yes. Break a leg. Thank you. <laughs> Don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews coming up. Jim Crutt, who played the zombie in the helicopter in Dawn of the Dead. How exciting for you to be here. Thank you very much. It's a great, great pleasure to be here, and I am honored to be part of the red carpet here. Yes, and tell my audience, is this the first time you've been at the Macaw Film Fest? Yes, it is, and uh, uh, I see a lot of familiar faces, friends I've known for a while, and so it's great to be part of the family here. Now tell my audience how you got that part as the zombie in the helicopter. Well, I became the helicopter zombie in uh, George Romero's 1978 Dawn of the Dead when uh, Tom Savini uh, asked me to take the role. Tom did all the makeup and special effects for Dawn of the Dead. And uh, Tom and I had gone to college together. We worked in theater together. So uh, he said, Jim, I've got this great role for you. <laughs> I can imagine. Is now, have you had you done any other kind of horror films before that, or was that this was the first? That was actually the uh, the first uh, film that I was in. I'd done some television work, and I've been working in theater for several years anyway. Before that, uh, since that time, I've done a number of films. <laughs> so, tell my way some of the films you've been in. Oh, let's see. There's uh, Deadlands 2, Trapped, uh, Zombie Girl Diary. We just did a premiere last Saturday of Ghosting, which I played a minister. Uh, that was a fun one because the uh, during the audition, the director, after I did the audition, said, Are you really a minister? I said, No, but I played a nun once. Hello? <laughs> Hilarious, hilarious. If we want to find out more information about you, do you have a website? Yes, I do. Tell me, audience, what is that? Uh, my website is www.hellazombie, H-E-L-I-Z-O-M-B-I-E. -E. That's Jim Crutt, hellazombie, H-E-L-I-Z-O-M-B-I-E. -E. I'm also on Facebook if anybody wants to get in touch that way. Terrific. Break a leg, doll. Thank you, Mr. Bye -bye. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. and she played the role in the horror film Curtains and the Funeral Home. Now tell my audience about this particular role that you play in this 
horror flick? In the in curtains? Yes. Um, well, uh, it was uh, a film that was shot oh, many moons ago, and I was uh, Christy Burns, who was the skater, and um, it's basically on. If you know the movie, it's about six actresses who are taken to uh, uh, the director's mansion. Oh my God! We have to audition for this coveted role called Audra, and um, and while we're there, um, each of the actresses gets bumped off, and I'm the second to go, and I actually have kind of a fun scene. I mean, when I was shooting it, I didn't had no clue it was be remembered as you know one of the that most love scenes, but um, I'm skating on a pond in the daytime, and uh, my music goes off, and I go to in investigate, and there's a, the legendary doll in the snow, because a doll usually set up that the, somebody was going to be murdered, and I see it, and then you cut to the um, the the hag, the killer in a hag mask with a scythe coming across the ice, so that was sort of the big iconic scene for me in that. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. I, actually, I bet. I actually fell and hit my face on the ice for the very first time, oh. even though I had trained and trained and trained for many months to um, actually do a little routine. I'm, I can skate, but I'm not a, I'm not a figure skater, so um, uh, I, but I'd been practicing in an arena, so I never practiced on a pond, and as you know, ponds are very bumpy, and of course, that was the first thing I hit was a bump. It went right over and boom into the... Oh, my goodness. They were, they were very, they were like... Now, tell my audience, since then, have you done any other work? Uh, yes, I just recently uh, did a film with Bart Mastronardi and, uh, and Alan Rokelli called Tales of Poe, and it's three um, different anthologies of, from Poe. Uh, I'm in the Telltale Heart, and it stars Debbie Rashawn, Desiree Gould, and myself, and um, that just had a couple of screenings, one in L.A. last uh, August, and then uh, I believe it was at the New York Horror Film Festival just this past November, so um, there's that, and I'm just right now myself just writing and developing my own stuff. So. How exciting. It is, yeah. And is this the first time you've been at the Macaw Film Festival? It is, yeah. This is the what do you think time. of it so far? So far it looks fantastic. It wow. looks fun. Yeah, wow. I'm looking forward to more of it. Looking forward so, to meeting the fans tomorrow. Yes, and, and I'm so thrilled to be talking to you and I'm excited for you about your new film coming out. Great. Can you tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about you as an actress? Um, well, I'm on um, Internet Movie Database. You can just Google, print my name. and uh, uh, Spell your name for those that... Leslie, L-E-S-L-E-H, and then Donaldson, D-O-N-A-L-D-S-O-N. And you just Google me, you can find all kinds of interviews I've done and everything that I'm doing now. So Are you on Facebook? And I'm on Facebook. Yeah, I'm funny on Facebook. Well, Leslie, thank you, darling. And as we say in show business, break a leg. Break a leg. All right. Thank you. Thank you. More interviews coming up, darlings. Keep watching. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Dressed to impress one of a kind girl. This has been a crybaby productions, darlings.